How do you feel about electric cars? Do you think you would ever make the switch? Sure. sure. One day. One day? Yeah. Tomorrow? Okay, maybe not that early. <laughs> I'm Hanley Hofer, and I'm going 101 into electric driving. We know the facts. Greenhouse gas emissions are at an all-time high. Now, the technology that helps does exist, and part of that is electric cars. So when it comes to electric driving, I'm curious. What's all the hype about? Is this the future of driving? And if it is, can it really satisfy the design-conscious consumers? So first things first, I got to meet my first car. That right there is Porsche's first electric car, the Taycan. Let's jump in. Man, this car is beautiful. Whoever said electric cars were not cool, dead wrong. We'll be meeting with a couple of motorheads, Jeff and Tad. Jeffrey Doherty is a senior creative director at a global sportswear company. He is a perfect candidate to ask about the design elements of electric cars. Ken is an award-winning director and is the face of Thailand's Porsche community. Anything you need to know about cars, he's the man to go to. You guys, I am blown away. This is a beautiful car. It's Porsche's first ever full electric production car. I think it's like yeah. the big chapter we're seeing in the automotive timeline. You know, electric cars will line the streets one day. I want to know a little bit more about how this helps. You know, the amount of traffic, pollution, it can't keep on. There's only one planet Earth, and I think this is one of the solves been put in place I to mean, maybe help the, that. The newer car is quite clean already. It is. But this is zero. Zero. This is zero emission. But why is it not so mainstream as it should be? I think infrastructure. Most cities that we see, you know, there's a gas station on every corner, but we're in a transition phase. You know, the kid growing up today, this is the car he wants. I would drool over this if I'm a kid. Yes, I would too. <laughs> There's a lot of misconceptions around electric vehicles, that it's a little geeky and not in the great way. No, I agree. Just because it's electric doesn't mean it needs to look kind of... Or boring. Boring. Yes. Or boring, like right. a yes. box or a little grocery getter. They, they should look sporty. One of the many cool details is before you even get in the vehicle, even as simple as hitting the unlock button. What? And let me get that for That's you. That's so cool. If this is a moment, let me just... <laughs> What do you think? It feels good. It fit you well. Thank it you. It does. It does. <laughs> I'm just so impressed. You know, outside I said it looks like a spaceship. Yes. Inside it is a and spaceship. Feels. It yes. feels like a spaceship. So this is a beautiful dashboard. Absolutely. Full digital, touchscreen, very intuitive. Everything is where it should be. The Porsche DNA is still there. You can see there's a big dial in the middle. Every 911 have that. The dashboard, how it swooped down all the way. This is like very early 911 design as well. You're right, it's familiar, but we're moving forward. Now, I did a little research, and I know that the materials used on the floor is made out of ethanol, which is recycled plastics and other eco-friendly products. So, that's a plus. Absolutely. Tan, you yeah. want to jump in the back and yeah, kind of sure. give us a leg Why room you never ask? <laughs> Wow, this is nice. Plenty of space. I think also because we don't have the fuel tanks and the other parts that need it, um, the battery is underneath us. Yes. So it's actually perfect weight distribution. What's cool about it is the maintenance is almost zero, right? You don't have the oil change, you don't have oil filters. Basically, you just need to um, maybe change the tires every once in a while, the brake pads, if it wears out, and that's it. So speaking of charge, how do you charge this baby? Well, that's another exciting kind of little design detail that they really got right on this one. Let's jump outside and take a look. I'll show you. Okay. It may seem like a simple feature, but now I'm just going to run my finger along. <gasps> it's the simple things, right? The simple so details. Can do that all yeah. day. <laughs> and this car is a series of these little simple design considerations all coming together to make the ultimate, ultimate EV. Okay, so this is where my mind's at right now. How come people haven't made the switch? Why are our roads still filled with petrol cars when yes. we could be doing this and saving the environment? I... Well, me and Jeff is so. So maybe we can go to Das Treffen. It's um, the gathering of the Porsche lover in Thailand. So there'll be a lot of vitro head there. And um, maybe you can ask him. I think I will do that. I okay. will go to the source and All I will right. ask petrol heads why. <laughs> <laughs> 
Destreffen began when Tan wanted to organize a casual gathering of Porsche owners and their cars. Four years later, this became one of the biggest Porsche gatherings in the world today. So what's your take on electric cars? Since I'm into the 911, I like the sound, but the electric car, there's no sound, huh. no feeling. It lost the soul of the rev behind the wheel and also when you shift the gear, it doesn't have the same feeling as the petrol car. I've been hearing a lot of things about electric cars, but having driven one is different. With the electric cars, the acceleration is instant and I think that's the um, charm of it. It will take some time to develop, like the technology of Tesla. It's good, but it's not practical. Some things that have been said is that electric cars can't be designed nicely. No, electric car can be designed very good, like you know, like look beautiful and you feel good in it. They have a lot more freedom. They can do away with all the wiring, all the belts. There's no gear, so you can design it any way or anyhow you want it to be because there's no rules anymore. In the future, if there's no petrol, mm -hmm. so I will change my, my engine to um, electric engine. It's probably inevitable that one day we'll probably be driving all the electric cars. Mm -hmm. So I think we, we are in the transition period. What's really cool is that being in a space like this and talking to people who are, you know, old school motorheads or are really excited about electric cars, it's nice to pick their brains about their views on electric driving and the future. And I got a chance to chat to people about just the design and styling. Even a lot of the kind of older generation guys mm -hmm. are definitely showing interest in yeah. this car. So I, I think we see the streets lined with these maybe sooner than we thought. It may be tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. You know, that's and it doesn't hope. have to be boring, right? Exactly. No. It's got, you know? it got looks, it got yes. speed, it got dynamic. It's that's all right. All I mean, these weird yeah. cliches and stigmas yeah. attached to electric driving. No more. That it's not cool or whatever. Yeah. It's done. done. You want to be able to look good and feel good and yes. do good at the same time. Should we? Should we roll? Yeah. Roll? My turn to drive? Oh, all right, okay, all right. All right. <laughs> I'll be your personal chauffeur. Oh, can you? <laughs> Lauren. No. Oh. <laughs> Please don't tell anyone around here, okay? I kind of like electric cars. Oh.